Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So before we can do the edit and delete and all that, uh, let's deal with the cells as well, because that's easier to deal with. Then we'll get back to the edit and delete, since it's just a view. First of all, let's add, I think I figured out the icon here. So I'm going to go back to the admin view and right here where we suppose so that sells this one right here it's money money bill that's the one ah there we go if you want that wavy wavy one you can do money be wave and this is the wavy one okay so sales products log out very good so let's go to sales now and try to get information from there. So if I go to the admin, main admin controller, in the cells here, I need to have a cells um, uh, class. It would actually be better if we do that instead of just running a normal query. So let me go here to product, uh, not product, yes, I actually want to copy the product thing here so i'm going to copy everything from the product model right click paste save and then i'll call it sale.php okay and then i will save so that uh the table is cells good so i don't need to write this but why not okay so cells that's the table let me actually change every reference of product to sell. Uh, let me click find and select the uh, case sensitive so that I can do with only okay car class sell okay. All right, great, everything good. So let's look at what columns we need for our sales department. So click on sales, let's see here. So the usual barcode, but we need receipt number, we need description, uh, quantity, description. So user ID required, I guess, receipt number as well. So let's add that there. We don't need no views. Uh, what else do we need? We do need the date, amount. We don't need an image, do we? No. So quantity, amount, total. Quantity, amount. We need a total. But we do not need an image. Okay, so that's about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it seems we got everyone. Very cool. And now, uh, let's see on the validation. We don't really need all this validation, but I'll leave it there anyway. Uh, we need to check the image as well. Okay, so maybe that validation is required after all. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Oh, actually, we don't need an image. The cells um, don't need validation because they're coming from the um, this point of sale thing. So input validation is not really a thing because cells don't need to be edited either. We can delete, but not edit then that becomes uh, manipulation which is not uh, good usually but if you want maybe you can put an edit for your admin to be able to just edit the numbers but that is discouraged anyway add new uh, should also lead directly to the point of sale so generate the barcode so we don't we won't need this in the cells uh, 
we don't need images either in the cells so out check image regardless we will not need images uh, so this should be out anyway amount quantity description maybe we can leave those just in case we change our minds but uh, yeah this is what it is so if I now go to you no, where is this sales view this will remain the same product quantity price uh, so let me change this to amount and this one to total let's remove the image of course uh, instead of product let's put description also just after barcode let's put um, receipt number receipt nope add new should lead directly to the home page so let me just put home there mm -hmm. and if i come back here to the admin controller uh, this one is sales so let's change product to sell and this one is sell selector from sales order by id descending simple and straightforward so back here um sales view let me change every reference of product without the s to sell okay uh huh uh yes 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 now the total should go to total but we have receipt number so let's start with barcode and description we can't really click on this anyway uh, this one remains on uh, yeah no this is irrelevant so let's remove this uh, quantity so barcode we need a receipt number though, and then description. So I'll duplicate this and say receipt number, description, quantity, amount, total. And then we don't have images anymore. We have the date. Yes, and that's it. Okay, pretty good. So if I do this now, I click, this is what we get. So receipt number, barcode, quantity, amount, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. Okay, so pretty good. We don't want to edit, we can delete. Add new would take us here, which is nice. So we can add a new cell. Yeah, that's about it for cells. So when we come back, let's look at finishing the edit and delete of both these. And uh, on the cells, it really depends. You may want to show each receipt as one entity. And then when you click on it, then you show all the transactions in there. But some people just prefer to see a list of the transactions one after the other. And also, uh, when you come to sales, it's a good idea to be able to see the today's sales and all that, the statistics. So we can put a statistics statistics link here. And if you want, uh, we can create graphs as well, but that takes up a little bit more videos. So it's up to you. You can let me know if you want me to create, teach you how to create graphs as well. From scratch, that is, without using any plugins, uh, we, we can use SVG not so complicated but uh yeah anyway so good here let's fix a few problems here first of all let's add a user here we should be able to see which user uh added these stuff here so back to total here just after total let's put uh user id 
for now we'll just use the user id and um, at the top here of course i have to change after total let's put user id user just like that yeah instead of user let's put cashier that makes more sense okay that's the person who cashiered but unknown for now um let's go back to our add new here because last time when i clicked on all these things here it gave me this which doesn't look very pretty so we need to round off this to a specific number so what we would do is let me go to now what i don't want to do is round off the original number i just want to round off the number that i'm showing here because if i round off the original value in case i add more items here then it's going to slowly change the numbers over time which may make the customer pay more than they're supposed to or less so we just change the one that we are viewing not the one that we are stored in memory so let's go here to our home page home view and let's look at where we are displaying the grand total i think there's a yeah there we go grand total refresh items display and grand total so here where we're saying in html is go to total plus this so here what we'll do is we'll say grand total um wait there's a function called uh, dot two fixed i don't know if that will work so two fixed uh, will set this to two decimal places so those are decimal places we can put there so let me refresh and let's try again okay so it seems it has worked okay pretty good wait let me remove this again just to confirm that things are working so let's see refresh if i type that 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 okay just those two was enough one two that's 15.8999 so let's put this back oops so from 15.899 let's click and click 15.9 okay so at least you get the idea if you want to put three decimal places just put three here and you see it leaves three decimal places okay very good now this only works on floats right or numbers or stuff like that i don't know maybe it works on text as well i'm not sure on strings as well i don't know but if it doesn't work on a string so let's do this if you find that this too fixed doesn't work you can convert this into a number by just saying parse int like this parse float like that then it becomes a number then you can do the dot to fixed like that so let's see if that works at all you see it works just fine but usually because this is already a number i won't need to do this okie dokie very nice all right so i'll see you in the next video